we got the contract to build Willington Power Station. Personally, I just was careful. The death rate on the site was high. People just fell from great heights. I've never heard a sound like that before. I've never been in those kind of acoustics with that echo just going on and on and on. There's a 60 foot vertical ladder. The edges were all polished and they used to put their arms around, just kick the legs out and slide all the way down. <laughs> it was phenomenal to see them. You could get 40 men down in a minute. Yours truly has climbed right up to the top of one of those, carrying the radiation source to do radiography of worlds. You know, you did it. I'm still here at 85, so I can't complain. I've seen some people that I know that have climbed the towers, which looks terrifying. I'm not 100% how he managed to get those ropes up there, but I believe it involves helium balloons towing a fishing line over the top. <laughs> if anyone was to go in there, I think you'd have to be careful you're watching because there's like loads of glass and like loads of debris everywhere and there's signs around to here saying you're not allowed to go in the power station when you're not meant to. I know what's underneath. 60 feet below, there's deep holes and they're probably water filled now. But if you got into them, you'd be, shall we say, swimming wouldn't be much good. <laughs> You do sort of think, is this what the world will be like after a nuclear war or something? Is this all that will be left? The area is very barren. 